This is Leather Apps for StocksPoker.com. Uh, making a video today of two tables of 3.6 no limit, uh, 6 max. And today I'm going to talk and try to focus on players' ranges and how I sort of figure out uh, what sort of range I put my opponents on uh, throughout a hand. So um, right here, I'm not sure about this player exactly because he uh, I don't have any reads on him. And he raised under the gun. So for now, uh, since he's unknown and he raised under the gun, I'm going to put him on, um, you know, some sort of pair, or maybe uh, two big cards at this point. You know, that's obviously pretty broad, but uh, there's really, you know, I can't narrow it down too much. Um, so I started off by just calling and just sort of mostly playing for the set. Um, you know, I'm not going to get too carried away. I don't have any reads at this point. And this is a pretty bad flop. Uh, it just it hits so much of his range. If he does have those two big cards, um, you know, more than likely made like a top pair type hand. Um, you know, if he does have a smaller pair, then I might get outplayed here. But I definitely think the prudent play is just to check fold. Okay, so the ace three here. Um, this person raised. Uh, he's kind of short stacked and. I definitely don't think I have any fold equity, and uh, I think this is an easy fold here. 6-8 uh, suited, I'm going to start off by uh, making a raise. Uh, three to four times, I kind of just go by feel, or just kind of how I feel, I should say, when I go to steal there. Not too important uh, what your raise size is. And I believe he posted under the gun. Um, I'm going to actually go ahead and just raise this up here and try to take the pot. And with the king 10, I'm just trying to isolate the limper here. So when, you know, a limper like this, I really don't know exactly what range of hands to assign him on. I mean, I guess he could be limping just about anything. I don't have any notes on him. He's probably not a very good player. Um, but I'm just going to make a continuation bet and hope it works. Oh, with the jack-4 suited on the button, I'll just raise it. Okay, so this is a type of board where I might get check-raised a lot, and I might do it, I might get check-raised by some hands I beat. And so sometimes the line I will take here is just to uh, uh, check behind on the turn, or on the flop, and then call a turn bet. That's uh, certainly a reasonable option. 